Hello, this is I'm Jerry Ford. Um, this is part three of the property management painting and porter porter job that I had some years ago. Um, there was a uh, a lady that lived in an apartment, and um, I won't say her name. Um, We'll just call her Jane. Um, she had lived there for a long, long, long time. Um, she uh, she got um, you know those those things you get in the mail. I don't know if you get them very much anymore, but um, they were just a, a rectangular piece of paper that says "Have you seen me?" and it has a picture of it like a child usually. And then the other side, it has, like, advertisements or something like that, or coupons or something. Um, you know, back in the, like, mid-2000s, well, early 2000s um, to mid, you'd get those in the mail. And uh, people, you know, throw them away. They'd, so, um of course, they have your they have your uh, your house or apartment number on them, right? So um, I come across one of those laying outside a uh, an apartment. So I pick it up, and I, you know I consider this is mail. You know, if it has a number on it, apartment number, then it's someone's mail. Um, so it had this per had Jane's number on there. Okay. So I put it on her clippy thing so she can get it later. I figure she just dropped it. So um, I, uh, I go on about my business and then later on I'm going up to my apartment to paint and um, I walk by her apartment and that, that piece of paper is laying back on the ground again. I'm like, what the heck? So I've, I was like, I wonder if it blew off. So I went to check the you know, the torque or the grip on the clippy thing to make sure it wasn't loose. It's pretty tight. I tugged on it. I was like, the wind is not going to blow that off. So I put it I put it back on there and I go on. Um, so I didn't go back by there. Um, I got busy, you know. So the next day, I went by there and that piece of paper is back on the ground again. I'm like, what is going on with this? I don't understand. So I put it back on there, okay? I come back by there later on, and it's it's gone. I'm like, all right, good. Well, outside each door, they have bushes, um, holly bushes or other kind of bushes. I look down in there, and I'm like, what the heck? I don't remember that being there before. You know, tore up a piece of paper all tore up. So I go down there and I start picking up each little piece of paper. And I'm looking through these pieces of paper for the apartment number, her apartment number. I find it. That made me mad. I took all the little pieces and put them together, stacked them together, and I put it on her clippy thing. So... I go on about my business. Uh, oh, it was probably the next day. Yeah, I'm up by the entrance of the property, picking up trash, and um, there's, you know, there's an island of bushes here. Over here, you enter the property. Over here, you exit. Okay, so I'm walking along, and I'm like. I'm looking in the bushes up there at the entrance, and I'm like, what the heck? Surely this isn't hers. She took that, that little pinch, that little pinch of paper, and it, when she got up there to the entrance of the property, she threw it out her window. I could not believe the gull of this person. There's... 
you know, 10 to 15 trash cans around the property. She could take it into her apartment and put it in her own trash can. What is the deal? I was very baffled by how how she could be that way, you know? Um, I mean, we, we were on, you know, we, we would talk, you know, we, you know, I knew her. Um, it wasn't till later on, I, um, she moved later on, and then I went and painted her, uh, condo for, but, um, I, I was just baffled by how, how you could do that. <laughs> um, back to cigarette butts. Um, we was, uh, I was outside the, uh, the clubhouse and um stand there i think we's working on the working on the fountain there's a fountain down below there's a brick wall here and down below there's a fountain and i took care of that and uh the maintenance supervisor which is over me too he comes by and he always stands out there in the back of his you know leans at the back of his to the back of his truck and he he talks to the maintenance, you know, talks to him, you know, smoking a cigarette. And, uh, you know, when he gets done, he flicks it, you know. And uh, I saw him. I saw him do it. So he goes into the clubhouse. I, uh, I go up. I go up there and just to see where it went. And I find it. And it wasn't out yet. It was still lit. I put it out, threw it in the back of his truck, in the back of his pickup. Will he find it? I don't know. It, it didn't bother. I mean, it, it didn't matter to me if he found it or not. But I wanted to give it back to him somehow, and I didn't want to get rode up by bringing it to his attention. Whether it would, I don't know. But, um, yeah. The, the maintenance my, the maintenance guy that I worked with he was with uh, he was with somebody another maintenance guy on the property he smoked both you know the maintenance guy and the one he was talking to smoked and the guy uh, threw a cigarette butt on the ground he goes and Mike he was the, our maintenance guy he uh, he, go, he goes don't do that he says Jerry catch you do that he, t he says, we call Jerry the, the butt Nazi around here. You can't, he, get, he gets mad if you throw cigarette butts on the property. And uh, he told me about it later. It was, it was funny. Um, I was with him one day in his truck. And uh, we was talking. He wasn't paying no attention to what he was talking about. But he was smoking, you know. And, uh, and, uh. He's, you know, answering a question and throws it out the window. And I look at him like this. And I keep staring until he looked at me. <laughs> and he, he looked at me like this. He goes, oh, man, Jerry, I'm sorry. I, I wasn't even thinking. He got out of the truck and <laughs> he got it. And put it in his ashtray, but uh, I was like, "You got to be kidding me!" I mean, that just that just told me right there that there's been other times he's done it too. You know that he wasn't thinking. But I mean, granted, I'm I'm sure people sometimes don't think about what they're doing, and it's just it's become a, a you know a habit that they just throw it on the ground. But I mean, most of the time, probably eighty five percent of the time people don't put them out they just flick them and they don't care where they go which is the cause of many fires it's so anyway uh yeah i was just um i had a lot of pride on that property uh i kept it i kept it spotless um i even invented some trash cans that were big that was i don't know they were about two foot by I don't know, 25 inches square, 
we got some stainless steel bowls to put them on top put some sand in it and we put these i think we had we made three of them and we covered the sides with uh um cedar siding type stuff made them look really nice painted them the the apartment colors and um put them at the the entrance to see like to go to some of the apartments you had to go across a bridge to get to the apartments because they were up two stories or something like that so we put them at the beginning of, of each each of those um areas just so that people can put their cigarettes off in there before they go to their apartments and uh, you know it was a courtesy but it was going to help me too uh, but uh yeah so anyway that's another that's another end of one of my stories if i think of some more i probably will yeah um we'll probably do a part four all right thanks for watching i appreciate it see you all on the next one have a good rest of your friday good weekend bye